Hey there YouTube, welcome back to the Allegheny Northern in end scale. There's nothing wrong with your picture, the layout is dark and that's because today we are talking about lighting. Layout lighting in particular. I've noticed um, in my own room and on some of your videos that lighting seems to be something that's either not thought of or um, it's, just a, uh, it's just a convenience so that the layouts don't look dark like this and all shadowy. There's some shadows. So, um, I figured I would do something that would maybe help you out a little bit in that I know a lot of us are operating um, under fast clocks or, um, you know, we have, uh, we've spent time and we've detailed lights on our buildings, lights on our streets, and our, our rooms never get dark. So the light doesn't really matter. But with the invention and the development of different types of LED lighting, we have a lot available to us now as modelers that we didn't have before. So let's shine a little bit of light on the situation here and talk about lighting. When we light our layouts, uh, we want everything to be visible. We want to eliminate unrealistic shadows and we want um, to be able to light the scene without being overbearing. So uh, a lot of us use shop lighting um, it's the LED strips, usually hangs on a chain. Some of them are, are direct ceiling mount. And the lighting is very harsh. Even with some of the different temperatures and LED lights that are available now, you still get a very harsh light. And it makes our layouts look either too bright or too shiny. So we need something a little bit better to, to control that lighting. Now, what I've found in some trips to uh, the home improvement store is what's being used is under cabinet lighting now and it's these fancy little LED strips now having them attached to the ceiling in some kind of a snaky pattern like this is not really uh, attractive and if you don't have a layout underneath it, it looks kind of funky uh, so I, I would recommend hiding this under some type of fascia which at some point I will do but for now uh, it is providing direct lighting to the layout in the areas where I want there to be lighting. And this is the kit that I'm using. It's a commercial electric product, 24 foot LED. And it is, not only is it uh, on a tape, but it also tapes directly to the ceiling and, or to whatever surface you're attaching it to. It's very convenient. And it's powered and controlled by a little bit of a, of a remote. And you notice that there are colors here um, that you can actually change colors to. And so if you're paying attention, you should notice that there uh, was a slight blue tint now to the layout. And if I kick down the lighting levels just a bit here, you'll see now that I've gone to what would be a night setting, maybe a very starry night. And all of a sudden my street lights actually look like they might be some street lights. Now my buildings aren't lit yet on the inside. There's no interiors. But when that's all coming, now nighttime operations will look a lot more exciting. It gives you the sense of nighttime without actually it being dark enough that you can't see what's going on. See, everything's still very, very visible. But you do get the impression that it is, it is night. So, the nice thing is these kits are parable to one remote. So, right now I've got five of these kits spread out. Uh, obviously, if I was doing real nighttime, the main light would not be on, but... You can see that all of them are blue, which is which is fantastic, and you get that nice blue tint on the uh, on the snow, which is really nice. I'm trying to block out some of that main light there, so you can see. Um, obviously, I would turn that light off, but for purposes of this video, I'm leaving it on right now. But you can see what it, the blue looks like in the shadows, so that's pretty. Pretty nice if it's not a feature you have right now. And then, like I said, once again, it brings out the the details of your your layout lighting, so that when you get down to say street level, now it looks like a night night scene. And then, of course, with the different colors, you can represent. Yeah, I don't know if you'd ever represent it that quite that intense, but you can do some dawn lighting if you wanted to do dawn lighting. And then, of course, it does fade nicely into daylight. And I'm doing this all by the uh, remote. It's not automatic, but there is an automatic set setting on here that'll let you 
fade through the colors and how fast it fades through the colors. I haven't played with it too much, but uh, there are some colors, say the green, probably never going to use the green, the yellow, possibly the light blue, doubtably. Um, so it's probably going to be between the blue and the purple that I'll, that I'll use here. You know, maybe some, some red, I'm not sure. Um, so I haven't played with it fully yet, but you can see what this, what this will, what this will do. Now, because the kits can be linked to, to one remote, you can control the entire layout from, from, from one remote, which is, which is fantastic. So you don't have to have multiple remotes for each kit. They are a little pricey. They run about $60 for this particular version. There are other versions out there that aren't as long. Uh, I haven't found any that are longer, but um, there are some that are that are shorter. So if you've got a smaller layout, um, you, you can use them. Um, they don't necessarily bend around curves very well. Um, it, it tells you in the kit that they do, um, but to avoid sharp curves, um, I have found that they don't really like to bend much at all without twisting. They still produce the light that you need, so it's okay. Um, but just be aware that you're not gonna get a tight, you know, configuration with them. So it's best to plan on long runs. They have a regular wall plug. So they plug directly into, into an outlet or a series of outlets, a surge protector, something like that. Um, so right now, um, you can see that this strip back here has lit fairly well, most of this area. I do have a dark corner back here. Uh, that I'm going to solve with one more kit running along the back here and then probably uh, well definitely one more kit when I get that shelf extended and built over here for the harbor scene to light the bottom but this was uh, replacing all of the old dangling shop lights there's still one hold out there just because I've, I'm short of kit right now over this section um, it works well uh, I'm happy with it I like the ability to be able to control the the lighting um, and being able to set the temperature of the room all with the touch of a remote is pretty cool so if this is something you'd like to do to your layout uh, I highly recommend it um, and if you're working with a fast clock it's something that you can add as visual interest to your layout for your operators um, and it's it's pretty fun so Definitely uh, look into lighting controls, LEDs. If you have any questions about what I've done here or how I've done it, uh, feel free to leave me a comment.